All right, I actually wanted to make a new video, a little bit better descriptive on the uh, NPR HD Isuzu. Uh, this is the rear brake drum. Uh, these are actually decent shoes on the other side. Uh, kind of out of adjustment, I would say. Uh, just like me, you know. <laughs> Minor flaws, but we good, we good. Anyway, uh, long story short, let's go ahead. Let me try to set this camera up real quick. Bear with me. I break cell phones and everything else I touch, so uh, don't mind. I got you, though. We can get this in place. I think we got it. Hold on here. I'm about to hook this up. Okay. There we go. First off, we're going to start... I got the wheel off, of course. This is the passenger side. Lug nets are regular right hand thread, so lefty loosey, ratty tidy. Uh, these two nuts right here, or bolts, hold on the drum. So they are 12 mil, 12 millimeter. Pop them bad boys out. Okay. Now notice, there's a second set of holes. This set of holes, though, has threads there and there the inset holes are the ones that hold it in and just in place so let me go ahead and pop those in the correct hole i'll pop these in the ones that will pop it off and out of place so here we go Being a lefty loosey righty tighty, uh, why is it so difficult? Okay, easily. Yeah. Now I just set them in place. But to be honest with you, a little trick to these damn drums is on the back side. Let me get in here where you can actually see what I'm working with. There is a little tiny grommet. This is your culprit you want to look for. Where you want to look for it at. Okay. Now there are two sets. Uh, okay. Right here. Sorry. Right there. You pop that grommet out. Now the best way. I'd suggest to do this. That I've been having luck at. Small Phillips screwdriver. And now, if you push this thing perfectly, I know this camera angle don't show, but push it perfectly in, and it will catch that little clip that holds the ding. I don't know if you can hear that. But you feel it kind of pop. Uh, this is going to be a mofo to set my camera up, but uh, anyway, you need to hold this in, and if you look, see that little thing right there in the middle of the screen that says loosen? That's your brake adjuster. You have one on the back side of your drum, and you have one right above my finger on the front side as well. You want to equally tighten and loosen these if possible, keep them equal. But long story short, this drum does not like to slide out when those adjusters are snug. You'll, you'll fight it half the day trying to get it off. I'm just trying to save you a hell of a headache. But uh, let me pause this, get this popped open, and I'm going to do just like I said in sign language. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pause this, and I'll pop it apart, and I'll show you exactly what I was doing. I just wanted to make a better video on this, because I know last time I jumped in and didn't show exactly, exactly how to do it. So, let me pause, and we'll resume in a second. Alright, there we go. Got our camera a little better set up. Don't mind the extra light. Well, here we go. We're going to follow the arrow. And the arrow is the way you want the gear moving.
Okay, so you're going to kind of push your screwdriver in, feel where it kind of bounces just a little bit. You can feel the spring on it. Push and hold this screwdriver inward that way. And here, clicking, we're turning the gear. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 14 15 why I'm doing that is because I want to count this to keep each side equal loosening and tightening the best we can let me grab up on the other side here point that light up out of the way for a minute Okay, now we're gonna hop on the other side. And I got jack stands set up under this, so uh, yeah, good idea. Um, got a lot of weight working above you, unless you wanna get crushed, I don't. I can hang light on a bag of Doritos, I'm a pretty light little dude. <laughs> okay, same thing. Find out where it goes, and I'm gonna find the gear, just feel for it. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. So they're both about fifteen rotation, well not full rotations, but twist of the screwdriver. Let's go ahead and get this piece back over here. Oh, let me get the thing back to see again. You know, this is kind of hard. I need a uh, helper or something. Okay, I think we got it. That should be good. Okay, let's get our light back on it. Now, go ahead and easily drive these. Don't refine them. Go back and forth. out of time they'll bottom out okay and then we're gonna just pop them out keep them on the ground there if you want like I said 12 millimeter or what those are and normally you can get a pry bar in the back side at this point and go evenly keep both sides just kind of go in and out on both edges let me get my pry bar Okay, now like I said, it goes pretty easily, just use your pry bar, kind of wiggle on her a little bit. Just wiggle it, wiggle it, and wiggle it. And honestly, that's, <laughs> I just saved you a lot of time, trust me, those adjusters suck ass. Anyway. Look at all that. Look at how much break dust these things get. The problem with me... <coughs> oh, yeah. Woo! Anyway, the edge right here, it gets a groove real bad on the outer edge that won't allow that brake pad to slide out because it's locked on the edge. And the look at these rear drums, I don't really like. They've got some really bad grooves in them. Same as the other side, the pads look great, like they had been replaced, but these drums have been through a few rounds. So honestly, I'm going to go ahead and replace this just like I did on the other side. I want to blow out everything with air, just clean it all up, hit it with brake clean, just clean everything before I put it back together. Real picky about that. But there you go, the disassembly of... This one's a 2014 Isuzu NPR HD. Um, yeah, that's the easiest way I can show you to pop these off. Made simple. But let me go ahead and show you this as well while we're in here. Now what we're spinning 
that right there this little piece right here this is the hole that I showed you and that's where there's the little hole right there back up a little bit and what we did like I showed you a minute ago we came through that little hole and basically pushed there's a little notch right here where it kind of just it pushes that piece out just enough to get it off this gear because this is a one-way gear you can you can tighten it up it spins this is the piece I was spinning it only goes one way and if you look I don't know how well you can see that but the notches are like a shark bite one way so it will tighten up all day long but you go to loosen it and it locks by this little spring piece we just temporarily push to get that to loosen that's the whole trick to getting them off and like I said I try to clean up all this your wheel speed sensor and stuff is right there I try to get all this stuff cleaned up and this little ring and everything here just clean the hell out of it prevent yourself some sensor issues and whatnot problems later but there you go there's a little better video better description and uh, you got to see the whole process of the removing of that and that's the hardest part when you put it back together I always bring those brake adjusters not where they stop the wheel but you can feel where there's almost no play you don't want them locked up but you do want them you know just right before snug I would say where the wheel still freely spins but not quite like locks up or really slows down just as minimal play as you can get is going to be the best you can do with these brakes so there you go thanks for watching